I think it's safe to say that the Hallmark Network has done us all a favor and introduced us to some of the greatest actors and actresses that we all love seeing on our screens. Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Gabby with Binge Now. Today we're bringing you the top 10 actors and actresses of Hallmark. So grab your snacks and get ready because you definitely don't want to miss this one. We're starting things off with Andrew Walker. Andrew is of Canadian descent and is an actor and producer, and the list of talents does not just end there. Andrew was an excellent football player in his early days and even received a full scholarship to play at Boston College. In an interview with Paul Green, he shared about his dad's role in his acting career. He said, And my dad was a, a school principal, um, so you know, for, for, for him to leave school and then take me out of school to give me a shot at these auditions was a pretty big thing. Andrew made his acting debut in Montreal as a returning lead in the TV series Student Bodies. His acting skills speak for themselves as within a month of coming to Hollywood, he landed a central role in the series Maybe It's Me and Sabrina the Teenage Witch. She may have killed her aunt. Okay, we could be dealing with, with an anticidal maniac. Andrew played the role of a neo-Nazi in the movie Steel Toes, and his performance won him the ACTRA Award for Best Actor in 2008. A prisoner being tortured and forced to read from documents that are not relevant to my actions as a soldier. The actor made his Hallmark debut in the 2012 film A Bride for Christmas, which was a massive hit among fans. Another fiance. How many do you have? Three. Since then, he has starred in 19 Hallmark movies and one season of When Calls the Heart. In April 2022, he signed an exclusive multi-picture deal with Hallmark and Hallmark movies. He is one of the most talked about Hallmark actors, and we can't wait to see what he does next. Next up, we have Candace Cameron Burring. Candace was born on April 6, 1967 in Panorama City, Los Angeles. She's an actress, director, producer, and even an author. Candace began her career with the roles as guest star in shows such as Growing Pains and Street Pains Elsewhere. <laughs> it's a date. Her brother Kirk Cameron was a series regular in Growing Pains. In an interview with Today, the siblings talked about how they were on each other's shows growing up. They were on it. There were two sitcoms on at the exact same time, Growing Pains and Full House, and both of them had a Cameron on it. Yeah. So I was on one episode of Full House, but you were on two? I was on two episodes of Growing Pains. Candace's career really began with her prominent role in 1987 as DJ Tanner in the ABC sitcom Full House. She starred alongside stars such as Bob Saget and John Stamos in the show. <laughs> and I know I promised to babysit Michelle and Stephanie. But just for one night, can't we put him in a kennel or something? The star made her debut in Hallmark and Moonlight and Mistletoe back in 2008. I grew up here, and every memory I have is connected to this place and all of the people in it. Since then, she has starred in over two dozen Hallmark movies. Besides being an actress, she is also a wonderful author who has written four books. Her first book was even a New York Times bestseller. Early this year, Candace left the Hallmark Channel and signed an exclusive contract with the GAC family. Next up, we have Allison Sweeney. The actress was born on September 19, 1976 in Los Angeles, California. Allison is an actress, director, author, and even a reality TV show host. She is most popularly known for her role as Samantha Brady on NBC's Days of Our Lives, one of the most popular soaps in America. I forgive you for ruining the happiest day of my life. Austin and I are getting married. He is not going to marry you. I have given him the most precious gift a woman can give a man, a son. Sweeney's debut on television was when she was just five years old in a Kodak commercial. At 16, she landed her role as Samantha Brady, and she continued to play the character from 1993 until 2014. Talking about how she landed her role on the Kelly Clarkson show, Sweeney said, me, but he was really focused on my education and wanted me to go to college, and so he sort of unwillingly agreed to one more audition, and it was for Days of Our Lives, and I got the job. <laughs> After 21 years, she revealed to her fans that she would be leaving Days of Our Lives to focus on her other projects. She then reprised the role in 2017. And she needs you to be tough right now. You can cry tomorrow. Now, Gabby, you have to suck it up because you are going to help us put that body in the river. 
Okay. She made her Hallmark debut in 2013 in the movie Second Chances. It's not a date. Trust me, it's a date. And has since then been a part of multiple Hallmark movies. She exclusively produced and starred in the Hallmark Movies and Mystery series, Chronicle Mysteries, which has five movies. The latest release was in 2021. What happened to Gina DeSavio that night? How did she die? Why? I'm Alex McPherson, and this is season two of Recovered. Her recent films were a part of the trilogy called The Wedding Veil, which was released in January of 2022. Absolutely. One of the architects who also designed Central Park. I can't believe you never knew about that. Tracy oh. knows New York better than I do. But that is my favorite part about the city, that there's always something new to discover. Always. Besides being a staple on the Hallmark Channel, she's also the author of three fiction books and two nonfiction books. Talking about how she got into writing books, no, she I, said, I love to tell stories. I think as an actress, we're storytellers right, too, right? right? And we're right. part of that. And there's something so satisfying about telling stories. But um, next, we have everyone's heartthrob, Luke McFarlane. Thomas Luke McFarlane is a Canadian-American actor and singer. He was the lead singer and a songwriter of the band Fellow Nameless, which he started back in 8th grade with a few of his classmates. They have one underground album that has half studio and half live versions of their songs. His skill of playing the cello came into good use while making the movie Chateau Christmas. Excuse me, I... Jackson? Marco. Thomas studied drama at Juilliard in New York City and was part of multiple drama productions, his lead role in Where Do We Live being one of the most prominent ones. His debut role was on the show Tanner on Tanner, and since then, his career took off. There was so much pain coming off of you, and I guess I just wanted to let you know I saw it. He is most popularly known for having played Scotty Wandel on the hit show Brothers and Sisters. World, You're not reserved. You're just tragically tangled up in your own homophobia. The actor made his Hallmark debut in 2014 in the movie The Memory Let's Book. Let's roll the dice. But this is not a date. This is research. And has also been a part of Hallmark movies such as A Shoe Addict's Christmas. Not the weird one. Got it. And Christmasland. You know, I believed in you. I really thought you were committed to Christmasland. And you have to. At number five, we have Autumn Reeser. Autumn Reeser was born on September 21st, 1980 in La Jolla, California. She participated in many drama and musical productions during high school. She then signed up at UCLA for the theater program and there she studied dance and acting techniques. Her initial appearance on television happened with commercials for brands such as Burger King and Clean and Clear. Autumn's first on-screen role was a character of a Ventu girl in Star Trek Voyager. Her career peaked when she landed the role of Taylor Townsend in the OC. Atlantic flight trying to determine. Because it's not business, but it's not pleasure, because that would imply that seeing Ryan Atwood again is pleasurable, when really all it is is stressful and, you know, really kind of surreal that we ever dated in the first place. She has also been a part of many other shows, such as It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia and No Ordinary Family. Who is the president on the Bellastar Galactic? Laura Roslin! Roslin! Until she was replaced by Leah Dama. Okay, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Whoever she is, she has clearly studied up on me. Okay, what? Katie. The actress made her Hallmark debut in the Love at Thanksgiving Day Parade, in which she played the lead role and soon became a fan favorite. You're dating him? This is a business slash work thing. Sounds like a date to me. Since then, she has been part of multiple Hallmark romantic comedy movies, such as Midnight Masquerade. I met someone. Tell me about it. That's the problem. I can't. And A Bramble House Christmas. Can I tell you my wish? No, because then it won't come true. That's only birthdays. I wish. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Up next, Wes Brown. Wes Brown is an actor and a producer and made his television debut in 2006 as Pat Riley in the movie Glory Road. Since then, he has come a long way. He plays Luke McDonald in HBO's hit show True Blood. Why, you think it's something bad? It can't be good. He has been part of many TV shows in his career, and his Hallmark journey is one fans are definitely grateful for. Wes made his Hallmark debut in 2011 as Clark Davis in the movie Love Begins. You know, I never intended on being here. If I could have repaid that debt, I would have. Your point is? As long as I'm here, I'm going to be civil to you. All I ask is you do the same in return. He has a roster of 14 Hallmark movies with great films such as June and January and Christmas at Graceland. You can't. 
if we can. I agree, will it get you to stop talking? Maybe. He is currently filming for a movie called Stalked Within, and we are all super pumped to see how it's going to play out. Next up, we have Ryan Peavy. Ryan Peavy is one of the biggest heartthrobs on the Hallmark Channel. He is an actor and a model, although that was never part of his plan. When the actor was in high school, he was scouted by a modeling company and thus began his commercial acting. As a model, he has worked with pop stars such as Katy Perry and starred in Christina Aguilera's music video for her hit song, Your Body. His acting career took off when he joined one of America's favorite soaps, General Hospital. You are not Mac. <laughs> No, I'm not. <laughs> well, then who are you? <laughs> His Hallmark debut was in 2016 in the movie Unleashing Mr. Darcy. My good opinion, once lost, is lost forever. And since then, he has starred in huge hit films, such as Christmas at the Plaza. I thought you understood how I felt about you. I better go, my reindeers don't part. <laughs> His latest film was called Two Tickets to Paradise, which came out in June 2022, where he starred alongside Ashley Williams, who is up next in our list. I just got stood up. You got stood up? Josh. Ashley Williams. Ashley Williams is also Hallmark's top actresses. Ashley made her acting debut in 1993 in the movie Indian Summer, where she had a non-speaking role. Since then, she has made many appearances in hit TV shows and is most popularly known for playing Victoria in the show How I Met Your Mother. Um, I think I'll see you stay in the oven a while longer. Here's a professional tip. If it's still runny, it's not a cupcake. It's a beverage. The actress has also been a part of shows such as Psych and The Mentalist. Trish Connors? Wow. Look at you, oh my god, you look amazing. What are you doing down here? The actress also made her Broadway debut, A Time to Kill, by John Grisham. When I grow up, I want to be a radical criminal attorney and have my name forever associated with the permanent abolition of the death penalty. She made her Hallmark debut in 2015 in the movie October Kiss alongside Sam Jager. Can I help you? I think I'm supposed to be helping you. Since her debut in the Hallmark family, she has been a part of 11 movies in total, such as Christmas and Evergreen and Northern Lights of Christmas. Are you a pilot? Yes, I am. Ashley is currently starring in a new show called Amber Brown, which comes out the 29th of July, 2022. So be sure to check it out. Next up, Victor Webster. Victor is a Canadian actor who has won the hearts of many fans over the years with his acting. Before joining the entertainment industry, Victor was a stockbroker. He began pursuing acting jobs in the late 90s. His most prominent role was as Nicholas Alleman in the soap Days of Our Lives and was the second actor to play the role. You like what you see? After leaving the soap, he got a role in TV series Mutant X, which came out in 2001. He made his Hallmark debut in the movie Puppy Love and has acted in over 10 movies for the network. He has featured in great films such as Summer Villa. You? You? Did you and my sister set this up? Don't flatter yourself. Hey, you're in Chef Cupid. Leslie failed to mention you got a kid. Not a kid. And Hearts of Winter. Oh, <laughs> did you plan this too? Yes, <laughs> it's all part of my master plan. <laughs> and last but not least, we have Lacey Chabert. Lacey Chabert is an American actress who began acting when she was a young child with one of her first roles as Erica Kane's daughter on the soap All of My Children. Aren't you on that show? And then it was like, aren't you Lacey from Party of Five? So it's kind of odd when a stranger knows who you are, but um, it hasn't at the same time. But, you know, I'm just a normal person. And... She is a woman of many talents and has done the voice for Meg Griffin in the show Family Guy. You're going down, Meg. Lacey Chabert? That's right. This should be my Shut up, Meg. No, you shut up, Meg. Shut up, Meg. And Eliza Thornberry in the animated show, The Wild Thornberries. I told you, they don't allow chimps in school. Lacey is most popularly known for her role as Gretchen Wieners in the iconic film, Mean Girls. Okay, that was so <laughs> fetch. She is known as the queen of Hallmark, as she has starred in around 27 movies. Her Hallmark debut was in A Christmas Melody in 2015 with the one and only Mariah Carey. I don't mean to be rude, but I'm actually on my way to the uh, PTA meeting. Oh, well, you're looking at the head of the PTA right here, so I'll just walk you on down. Guess today's your lucky day. It's early yet. <laughs> 
Lacey has also starred in the Wedding Veil trilogy, which came out in 2022 and has a star studded cast. Whoever's in possession of the veil will find true love. It's not well, just that's all for today, guys. Hope you liked the video. Do you think we missed out on anyone? Please let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to give us a like, share, and please do subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Until next time.